When it comes to INFJ self-care, the tendency to retreat to their caves of solitude and comfort in times of stress may seem like the easiest option. But does it actually help in the long run? Of course, self-care is not unique in the INFJ personality type, but many introverts, including this rare type, tend to require a little extra self-care due to their natural process of mental burnout, anxiety and stress. Luckily, there are a host of promising self-care activities that really help INFJs and introverted types alike get back on track, 15 of which we'll be discussing in today's video. Before we get into it, have you liked and subscribed to our channel? Go ahead, we'll wait for you. Be sure to click the notification bell while you're there so you never miss a video. Alright, let's get right into it starting with number 1. Go for a long drive with no destination. Sometimes all an INFJ's got to do for a little mental sanity and self-care is just get in the car and drive. Drive and drive and drive, allowing your gut feeling to direct you where you need to go. No rushing, no pressure, no destination. Just driving for the sake of driving. Well, it's not exactly the most environmentally friendly way to go about things. Sometimes the mental clarity that a solo joyride can give is all an INFJ needs to calm their minds and switch up their environment. The best part? You never know what you're going to find. Number 2. Make a comforting childhood meal there's an inner child within us all that is so often forgotten about. The side of all of us that likes to be nurtured, nourished and cared for by someone we love. And what else brings this sense of heartwarming comfort other than a belly-filling home-cooked meal that brings back memories of worry-free happiness? Whether it's Nona's chicken pot pie or a batch of your favourite childhood chocolate chip cookies, a rewarding indulgence of a traditional meal cooked with our own hands is true self-care. Number 3. Schedule a catch-up day There's no doubt that most INFJs have a personal reputation and self-expectation for their hard work tendencies, but that doesn't mean they're ahead of the game. In fact, even though INFJs always seem to be doing or at least planning to do the things on their to-do list, they can easily fall behind on the everyday things such as grocery shopping, laundry and those pesky things like oil changes. And there's no worse feeling than knowing that you have these tasks nagging in the back of your mind for days on end. By scheduling a day that's solely meant for these tedious tasks means mental clarity and stress relief. Plus, nothing screams self-care more than a cupboard full of snacks and a closet full of freshly cleaned clothes. Number 4. Treat yourself to some self-maintenance Similar to a catch-up day, a self-maintenance day is also crucial to INFJ self-care. With such a focus on self-improvement, you'd be surprised how often this type puts their self-maintenance on the back burner. Things like getting your hair cut and styled or even a professional beard groom is a great start, but it doesn't end there. Nothing's stopping you to go as far as booking yourself a professional massage, getting a well-deserved mani-pedi, or even a spontaneous bikini wax if you're really feeling spicy. Number 5. Move your body We get it, exercise is good for mental health, blah blah blah, but we're not here to tell you anything you didn't already know. Aside from the mental health and classic benefits of exercise, INFJs in particular tend to benefit from physical movement because it provides a temporary escape from their never-ending thought cycle. When this introverted intuitive type can focus their attention on something outer, they're able to come back to their fixation with a clearer mind and a more considered mood, especially on the down days. Number 6. Plan a self-care night Ah, soft jazz, bubble baths, clay masks and a glass of champagne. What a celebration. You, you are the celebration, my dear INFJ, and this is a party of one that only requires rest and relaxation on your part. When planning a self-care night, the self-care part is just as important as the planning part. Take your self-care night seriously by cleaning up your schedule and preparing for it ahead of time to ensure all stresses and worries are left outside your self-made safe haven. Number 7. Write yourself a thank you note Yeah, yeah, it sounds cheesy, but 
who else is going to thank you for all the effort you put in in life? With such a focus on the things that are yet to be completed or accomplished, the INFJ tends to undermine their achievements and completed goals, sometimes leaving them feeling like they're walking up a downward escalator. A self-written thank you note is the perfect solution, not only allowing you to notice everything you've accomplished, but also encouraging the feelings of gratitude towards your past self. Plus, they're pretty encouraging to look back on in years to come. Number 8. Listen to music Music is a great self-care tool that nearly everyone can benefit from. With an INFJ having such a stereotypical focus on finding deeper meaning and emotion to people and concepts, music acts by expressing thoughts, ideas and emotions like no other activity. Sit back, relax and let the tunes take you away. Number 9. Sing it's one thing to listen to music while solemnly humming the rhythm in your head, but have you ever felt the carelessness and freedom of belting your favourite tunes out with no one around? Now that's unorthodox self-care, my friends. Whether you're on a long solo commute, at home alone, or at the peak of your mountain hike, there's something about using your voice for something other than communicating that feels so self-empowering. We warn you, once you crank up the radio and grab your kitchen boom mic, there's no going back. Number 10. Set the Mood With extroverted sensing as one of their four main functions, the INFJ can easily be influenced by their surrounding environment. This high sensitivity to outer stimulation can be eased by tweaking things like lighting, sound and smell to a more softer and welcoming setting. For daytime, INFJs can opt for things like natural lighting, an open window for fresh air, a refreshing essential oil diffuser, and anything else that makes you feel lively. While the night calls for a softer vibe, with dimmed lighting, candles, calming music, and other calm-inducing stimulation. Number 11. Less Screen Time Speaking of outer stimulation, bright screens and social media is the epitome of overwhelming the mind with information. Everyone can benefit from less screen time at the rate this world is headed. However, INFJs specifically can fall into a deep screen time trance where their extroverted sensing becomes drained, leaving them with little to no energy to do anything important. This can quickly create a toxic habit, so consciously taking steps back to limit screen time is one of the most important steps you can take for self-care. Number 12. Spend attentive time with your pets there's no type of relaxation and comfort quite like that of cuddling with your furry companion. In fact, showing undistracted affection to your pet is an incredible self-care practice that can be even more beneficial for people experiencing bouts of anxiety, hypersensitivity and burnout, aka the INFJ. Not only is the outer stimulation of softness and gentle behavior relaxing, but for INFJs who are able to absorb the energy of the things around them, having the company of a furry snuggle buddy can be all the more comforting. Number 13. Give yourself permission to take a nap. We get it. Naps seem like the most unproductive activity anyone could ever incorporate into their day. However, in the name of burnout, naps could actually be the saving grace to an overwhelmed and stressed out INFJ. So on those really tough days, take an appropriate nap and don't wake up feeling guilty about it. But instead of opting for the involuntary midday doze off, put yourself to bed and set an appropriate time of waking. Number 14. Do a guided meditation. Meditation isn't for everyone, but for the complex and imaginary thinking INFJ, a guided meditation can provide endless benefits, with one being a better control of their introverted intuition function, whether you opt for a meditation for deep relaxation, financial abundance, physical healing or anything in between, meditation acts to provide an internal focus that gives introverted intuitive types a break from their chaotic circling thoughts. And number 15, hang out with close friends. Now, we don't mean to make plans and cancel at the last minute or force yourself to show up against your will. We mean taking the initiative into your own hands and making a plan surrounding activities you actually enjoy personally. Think of a walk in the woods, invite a friend. Yes, it's out of your comfort zone and yes, it will be rewarding for that exact reason. Well, that's it for today's cycles. So, do you have an INFJ personality type? 
What's your favourite self-care activity? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more cycle videos.